You must enter the library in silence the whole time. For sake, God. And if you think you're coming here to ask me for help, well, you've got another thing coming. And don't you dare get my books in such a wrong order. Okay? What are you doing? Where, where, where are you going? I said don't do that. I said don't do that. Oh, excuse me. Don't listen to her. You do not have to be in silence as you come in here. Just, just quietly, that's fine. But you can talk. The only place that we do ask that you're completely silent is the cloisters area through there. If you want help, that's all we're here for. We're here to help you. If you want to search the catalogue, we'll help you with that. Buy anything from the shop, top up your printer credits. Perhaps you don't know where to find a book on the shelf. Just please come and ask us and we'll show you where it is. So if you want to take something out, we've got things like two-week loans, overnight loans, whatever you want to take. Obviously we do have things with um, library use only, so you can't take those out. They're a bit like a reference book. Um, if you want to take something out, just go back to the desk um, with your ID card and we'll issue those to you. Um, but perhaps you still want to use things, but you don't want to take them out. Well, that's fine as well. You can just come on around, grab a seat. Now when you've finished what you want to do, um, but perhaps you don't want to take the books out with you, that's absolutely fine. And all you have to do is leave them on the desk. It's as easy as that. Leave them behind, we'll put them away for you. Now, the main reason we actually do that is we're just really interested to know what you're reading without necessarily taking things out of the library. And that's why we issue it to our ghost reader. We do have a range of daily and weekly papers in the library, and it's a great way to be aware of your current awareness. And that will prove ideal for all your university and job interviews. It's just not very easy to concentrate when all you can hear is loud music in the background. When using the computers, which are on a first-come, first-served basis, please respect those working around you. You can listen to music, but make sure that no one else can hear it. You can borrow headphones from the library desk if you like, just come to us with your ID card. You can't look at shopping websites or play computer games. The computers are for work only. Don't eat or drink in the library. It can get really messy. And it can ruin books and electrical equipment. You can, however, bring in drinks bottles that have a very secure lid, like a sports bottle. And your phone must be on silent. You have been talking about the computers for far too long. How boring. Let me show you our DVD collection. We've got over 900 in stock. They're all free of charge. Yes, free of charge. You can take them out, preferably no more than two at a time. But you must remember that if it is late, you don't return it the next working day, you'll be charged 50p a day. But we've got a whole variety here, lots of different subjects. And uh, <laughs> here's one I started. Very proud of this. And uh, because of that, I'm the proud owner of this. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for the teachers at Hereford Sixth College and um, the amazing library that helped me through my studies, I would not be holding this. It's time. always about you, isn't it? Me, me, me. Can't get any peace and quiet in here at all. Well, unless we go into the cloister area. What do you mean you haven't seen it? You haven't used the cloisters. Come with me, I must show you. Come on. In here. Silent zone. Total, total silence. Golden rule. It's, it's golden rule. Come on. May we go through? Don't talk. really really good range of fiction in the library so come and take a look you know if you're doing like something like English perhaps um, you will have to do a lot of extended reading that's probably crucial for a university course but why not just read up for pleasure you know? curl up with a good book this one's really good The library subscribes to over 90 magazines and journals, so you can use these at any time that you like in the library. But you can also take them out with you. If you want to take them home, just go back to the desk, um, but they must come back the next day, preferably no more than two at a time. On all the spinners, we keep the updated one on the front, and then it goes in back order to the back. But we've also got a really good um, archive room. We actually store these magazines for anything between one year to five years. And we've also got some little labels on here 
stating which ones are found on InfoTrack, and that's a really, really good database that can be found online. Say you wanted an article from maybe 10 years ago, you could possibly find it. Anyway, I'm going to take these ones out. The quest for knowledge is never-ending. Now, computers are fantastic, so they've got a huge array of online resources, but if you really want reliable sources, remember that we've got a really good range of encyclopedias in here. We've also got dictionaries and even atlases and ordnance survey maps. But remember, it is a reference area. You can't actually take it out of the library. And the same applies to anything you see with the library use only sticker. I'm going to have a read of this one. We've got um, travel and tourism guides here and loads and loads of travel guides. So, you know, even if you're not studying for travel and tourism, you're going on holiday. Do you want to take one of our travel guides out and take it with you? <sighs> yeah. I'm going to book my tickets. Now with all our books, we've got different labels to know how long you can take something out for. This one, a bit like the reference one, Library of Sony, you can't take it out. You just can refer to it in here whenever you like. If you see something with the overnight loan status, you can only take it out for one night and it must come back the next day. If you don't return these the following day, you will be charged 50p a day. If it's just um, its classification number, you know it's a two-week loan. Excuse me? You're not going yet, are you? We haven't just got academic stuff in here. We've got things to help you out. Can I show you where we've got some theory test books and even has a perception DVD? So when it comes to doing the driving test, we've got those here. Take those out and uh, brush up on your theory test. We've also got a few cookery books in the library, so if you want to go home and bake some cakes, why don't you? One thing is, though, we don't sell the ingredients in here. But we do have a stationery shop. Now remember, if you do want to take anything out of the library, you have to come to the library desk with your college ID card so that we can issue it to you. Because if you don't have it issued, you will set off the alarms. Anyway, we're open from Monday to Friday, 8.15 till 5. So just come on in and we'll help you out. We look forward to your time spent at Hereford Sixth Form College and we'll help you every step of the way through your studies. See you soon.